Do you think flamingos can swim? They can wade through water and they can fly, but what about actual swimming? Birds usually swim by paddling their feet like ducks, or by flapping their wings when they're underwater like penguins or puffins. But flamingos have such long legs, they can't really swim like ducks or penguins. Instead, they turn upside down and bicycle their legs to move themselves forward. It's kind of hilarious. So that classic joke about ducks? It works for flamingos, too. Flamingos are one of the most recognizable birds in the world. There are six different species, and they mostly live in salty lagoons or lakes. In this video, I'll share my top six favorite facts about flamingos. Their food makes them pink. Flamingos are famous for their pink feathers, long neck, and stilt-like legs. But not all flamingos are pink. That signature color actually comes from their food. If they eat brine shrimp and algae that have a lot of orange pigment, called carotenoids, then their feathers will be pink. But if their diet doesn't have this type of pigment, then their feathers will be white. They eat upside down. Flamingos have a curved bill that lets them filter small brine shrimp and algae from the water. Their beak is formed like an upside down scoop, and when the flamingos eat, they use their tongue to pump water in and out of their bill. Small hair-like ridges on the bill filter out particles of food, and that's how they eat, upside down and underwater, holding their breath. Half of their legs are actually feet. Flamingo legs appear to be backward bending, but they're not. This joint is not the flamingo's knee. It's their ankle. Pretty much half of their long legs are made of foot bones, and the webbed part that they walk on, that's actually all toe bones. Their legs are pretty much half feet. They sneeze salt. Most flamingos live near saltwater lakes or the ocean. They often don't have any fresh water nearby, but that's not a problem because they can drink salt water. They have a special gland that works kind of like an extra kidney to clean salt out of their blood. This superorbital gland filters extra salt out through their nostrils just below their eyes, so they can literally sneeze salt. Flaminglets. Flamingos laid just one large egg in a mound built out of mud. Both parents take turns incubating the egg, and when it hatches, the chick is gray. Baby flamingos are fluffy and well-developed, they can swim and walk around pretty much immediately after birth. Both parents take turns feeding the chick by regurgitating a liquid from their stomach called crop milk. Flamingo chicks start out about the size of a tennis ball, but they grow fast. Greater flamingos, when full grown, can be more than five feet tall. But no matter what species of flamingo we have, the baby flamingos, or flaminglets, are adorable. Flamboyantly tough. Flamingos are social birds, often found in large colonies that can number in the thousands. A group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. You might be tempted to look at a collection of flamingos and think that they're fragile, but the only fragile flamingos are the plastic ones. The real birds are tough. They're talented flyers, and there have been multiple cases where flamingos have escaped from zoos or aviaries, flying long distances and then living on their own. A flamingo named Pink Floyd was born in captivity in a Utah aviary. He'd never once been in the wild, but one day in 1988, he escaped and flew to the Great Salt Lake. Utah and Idaho have cold winters with plenty of snow, but Pink Floyd survived there in the wild all by himself for 18 years. And the lesser flamingos in Tanzania breed in one of the most inhospitable places in the entire world. Lake Natron is a super salty lake with high amounts of sodium carbonates and a pH that can rise above 10. This lake is a death trap for most animals. The water is so caustic it can literally dissolve the skin off an animal and then mummify the body. But that water is a good habitat for certain types of algae and a refuge for the flamingos, which eat the algae. 
The lesser flamingo thrives in this environment with pretty much the entire population nesting on this one lake. We hope you enjoyed these cool facts about flamingos. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget, there's a free worksheet that goes along with this video. In our Patreon community, we also have a bonus lesson where we show you how to draw a flamingo and explain why they so often stand on just one leg. Thanks for joining us.